Welcome to the session on cells. In this particular topic, we are going to learn about what are cells, how were cells discovered, various kinds of cells, how were they discovered. We will also learn about cell theory, different kinds of sizes of, sizes of cells, different kinds and sizes of cells, what are the number of cells, what are the shape of cells, what is their level of organization, what different kind of cell organelles are present in plant cell in animal cells in different kinds of cells what are the different kind of organelles present we'll also talk about vacuoles plastids lysosomes mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes golgi apparatus cell organelle and their structures a comprehensive guide about it and differentiation between plant cell and animal cell okay so can we quickly define what are cells what is and why our body is made up of cells any idea okay so cells are like the bricks like bricks are there in the wall and these bricks together combine together to form the walls which walls further combine together to form a building similarly are your cells cells are the structural and functional unit of body these are the building blocks of your body right these building blocks of body they join together to form a wall like structure or to form layer of cells and then these multiple layer of cells help to form an organ an organ system and a human like us therefore cells is the building block of our body they are the structural and the functional unit of our life similar to bricks they are assembled to make buildings of our body they are the smallest living unit because in i mean you can break cell and you can further isolate cell organelles you can further isolate nucleus however a cell is the living you know living unit which is able to perform its all functions properly and to perform its all functions properly this is the smallest unit the smallest living unit which is able to perform all its function in efficient way is what is categorized as cell and cells we cannot see cells by naked eyes some cells you might be able to see through naked eyes however most of the cells like human cells we cannot see by naked eyes so they are seen under microscope which helps us to see the images at a higher magnification therefore the cells are said to be microscopic in nature mostly because some cells you might be able to see when they are without microscope now this is how an onion peel cell looks under the microscope if you clearly see cells are aligned like bricks end to end so cells are connected end to end and you don't see gaps between them so this end to end connection between cells help to form a solid layer and this solid and continuous layer solid and continuous layer is responsible for forming us as a structure now could you imagine for a minute if our skin would have certain gaps in between and it won't be a solid structure it would have certain gaps in between the cell so anything would be able to like if i draw a structure like this there are certain gaps here so anything would be able to penetrate our skin very easily a bug a uh, insect it would be easily able to move into our skin therefore cells are completely uh, adhesive and completely stick together like the bricks of the wall so that nothing can enter inside the cell so who who discovered cells how are we able to know that our body is formed of cells cells were discovered by robert hooke and this is when he was able to know that our body is designated with cells and these are empty boxes row of empty boxes which are compelled or combined together and they form a continuous network and he referred this continuous network to as honeycomb structure 
or honeycomb arrangement so he referred that our cells are arranged in a honeycomb like structure so a honeycomb structure is a continuous structure and they are joined end to ends similarly he told that cells are something which are joined end to ends he observed these cells in the bark of the tree which are known as i mean in the bark of the tree this is cork is the name of the part of the tree where he found these cells where he studied these cells and robert hook was the one who coined the term cell and gave these empty boxes the name as cell this is what he observed under the microscope again it is microscopic so this is what was discovered by him under the microscope now further to robert hook there were different theories which were given about cell and the main theory which was chosen amongst the cell was by sclegen and schon matthias sclegen and theodor schon so sclegen and schon they gave the cell theory what is the cell theory these are simple principles of what cell follows basic principles of what are related to cell these basic principles is that all organisms are made up of cells or one cell or more than one cell and we also know that like humans are made up of more than one cell we know that bacteria is made up of one cell right and humans are made up of more than one cell so all organisms are made up of one or more than one cell therefore this was the first principle of cell theory then next principle of cell theory was that the cells arise from pre existing cells pre existing means the prior cell the parent cell divide itself to form the next new cells and this process by which the parent